Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As India is moving closer towards inking deal for procurement of MQ-9 B RPs, there are attempts being made to showcase that MQ-9 B drones are going to be super expensive procurement and some unrealistic price comparison is also being made. These propagandas are being spread for personal gain at a cost of national interest. Therefore, we decided to make a detailed analysis on MQ-9B procurement to make everyone aware of the facts and understand in detail why India needs MQ-9B RPs, why are they so costly and how India will get benefited from this deal. India is the seventh largest country in the world. India has 3044 km long line of actual control with China which continues to test India's preparedness along the borders. These are mostly high attitude, extreme cold region which are vastly inaccessible. India also has very long coastline which measures about 7516.6 km bordering the mainland and the islands with the Bay of Bengal in the east, Indian Ocean in the south and Arabian Sea in the West. The Indian Navy has to explore 2,500 to 300 miles away from coastline for various ISR missions to identify who is operating in these waters, what are they doing and what's their motive. Indian Armed Forces need to maintain the continuous ISR over its border and Indian Ocean region for which it needs remotely piloted aircrafts with extremely high endurance and excellent surveillance and network capabilities. This is the reason why Indian Armed Forces felt the need of extremely capable, high-attitude, long-endurance drones such as MQ-9. Indian Navy already has a vast experience of operating these RPAs. Indian Navy has leased two MQ-9 RPAs which completed 10,000 flight hours in November 2022. Indian Navy uses these RPS for maritime surveillance from Gulf of Aden to Sunda Strait in Indonesia. These RPS has also been used across the line of actual control to monitor the military preparations made by PLA. The MQ-9 acquisition is going to be a multi-billion dollar deal. Therefore, it's also important to understand what India is getting out of this deal. It's not going to be a plain vanilla RPA which India is going to acquire and at the same time, many details of the deal would not be available in public domain due to the sensitivity of it. In any defense equation process, the cost of deal is determined by the cost of manufacturing, weapons and sensors procured along with it, ground control station, communication equipments, training and providing the maintenance, repair and overhaul services as well as transfer of technology if any included. India is acquiring 31 MQ-9 drones, out of which 10 RPS will be made in US and remaining 21 is to be built in India. As per Indian Navy Chief, the local manufacturing of the RPS will give India advantage of various technologies that can be transferred in terms of radar processing, sensor fusion, then some of the composites that are part of aircraft and titanium alloy casting for undercarriage and so many other payloads integration of the weapons. In January 2023, Bharat Forge and General Atomics Aeronautical Systems manufacturer of MQ-9B has signed a partnership to manufacture the parts of MQ-9B drones. The partnership included manufacturing of main landing gear components, sub-assemblies and assemblies of the drones. The current technology transfer offered by US is 8% to 9% but there is scope to increase it to 15% to 20% which is under discussion. General Atomics will also establish a comprehensive global MRO facility in India to support country's long-term goal to boost indigenous defense capabilities. This deal will turn India into MRO hub for MQ-9 RPS in the region. On 14 February 2023, General Atomics and HL have jointly announced that the MRO of Turbo propeller engines, which powers MQ-9B, will be supported by HL's engine division at Bengaluru for the Indian market.
MQ 9B can be integrated with various mission kits and combinations of weapons and sensors payload to meet the combat requirements. The Raytheon ANAS 52 multi spectral targeting sensor suite integrated with the RPA includes a color or monochrome daylight TV, infrared, and image intensified TV with laser range finder and laser designator to designate targets for laser guided munitions. The RP is also equipped with Lynx multi mode radar that contains synthetic aperture radar that can operate in both spotlight and strip modes and ground moving target indication with dismounting moving target indicator and maritime wide area search capabilities. The Sea Guardian, which is a maritime MQ-9B, features a self-contained anti-submarine warfare mission kit. Sea Guardian operator can also deploy, monitor and control sonar boys. Each of these RPAs has four wing stations available to carry four Sonoboy dispenser system pods. Each of these pods can hold and dispense up to 40 A size and 80 G size Sonoboys and remotely perform the anti-submarine warfare anywhere in the world. MQ-9B can also carry eight AGM-114 Hellfire air to ground missiles or four Hellfire missiles and two 500 pound GBU-12 Paveway 2 laser guided bombs. The 500 pound GBU 38 JDAM can also be carried. It can also fire dual mode brimstone missiles. Depending on the mission requirements, the MQ 9 Reaper can carry multiple AIM 9X Block 2 missiles. Indian Defense Forces are also planning to integrate the Made in India missiles on the Predator drone. Now talking about the progress made in MQ-9 acquisition, the Defense Acquisition Council on 15th June 2023 accorded the acceptance of necessity for acquisition of 31 MQ-9B which includes 16 Sky Guardian and 15 Sea Guardian Hail RPS for tri-services from USA through foreign military sales route. The AON included the number of UAVs to be procured along with associated equipment. The AON noted the estimated cost of 3,072 million US dollars provided by US government. However, the price will be negotiated once policy approval of the US government is received. The Ministry of Defense will compare the acquisition cost with the best price offered by General Atomics to other countries. The procurement is in progress and would be completed as per the laid procedure. Under the FMS route, a letter of request LOR would be sent to the US government where tri services requirements, details of equipments, and terms of procurement would be included. Based on LOR, the US government and Ministry of Defense will finalize the letter of offer and acceptance. LOA where details of equipments and terms of the procurement would be negotiated and finalized in accordance with the FMS program and the price and terms offered by US government and GA to other countries. By now, you would have understand that India is not going to procure plain vanilla RPA. US has not engaged at this level even with any NATO countries for any MQ-9B deal. Therefore, it's completely baseless to compare Indian deal with acquisition by any other country. As far as price is concerned, it was always expected to be around $3 billion and therefore there are no surprises. The decision to acquire 31 MQ-9B has not been done at haste but after detailed evaluation of price and tri services requirement. It was finalized based on the analysis done under the CDS and his integrated defense staff team. Now those who are raising questions have not even 1% idea of what Indian Armed Forces need and what is the underlying technologies being procured and will be manufactured in India. I hope this detailed video would have given you the complete clarity. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. 
will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.